Zizi. Não, hum, hum, hum. não. Don't bracket me inside. No, okay, ready to move out. Use it? Yes. Okay, ready to move out. Alright. Right. Mm -hmm. Alright. We welcome all to the first day prayer of our leader, His Excellency Senator Isaac Abdullah Ajimobi. The program will start immediately with an opening prayer by Imam Mudafi Pala. Can we all rise, please, excepting Her Excellency? Can we all be on our feet, please? 
a mark of respect to the departed fellow, a mark of respect to humanity, a mark of respect to the Lord in heaven. Our orders have Surah Al Fatiha, Al Fatiha. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا صراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المكتوب عليهم ولا ضالين آمين صلى الله عليه وسلم كريم كم بيتك أسيب بارتيس Thank you There will be a short reading from the Holy Quran this will be taken by Idris Abdukari. Bismillah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim Bismillahi r-Rahmani r-Rahim Wadduha وَاللَّيْنِ إِذَا سَجَى مَا وَدَّعَكَ رَبُّكَ وَمَا قَلَى وَلَلْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنَ الْأُولَى ولسوف يعطيك ربك فترضى والضحى والليل إذا سجى ما ودعك ربك وما قلى سوف يعطيك ربك فترضى ألم يجدك يتيما فآوى ووجدك ضالا فهدى ووجدك عائلا فأونا فأما اليتيم فلا تقهر وأما السائل فلا تنهر وأما That's why the program is the Mukadima special prayers. This will be led by that's the actual Fidao, Fidao prayers. This will be led by Aladi Saaduddin Adikileku, the Zonal Mission of Nasrat or your state. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Alhamdulillahi ladhi ahiyya wa maj. الحمد لله الأول والآخر والظاهر والباطن والحمد لله على كل شيء في حياتنا والحمد لله الذي هو مولى على كل شيء يا الله يا رب العالمين We give thanks to Almighty Allah the giver of life and the taker of life This God is the only one that has never tasted like this and he will never taste it He has brought uh, the Father the leader, Al Had Ishaq Adora Ajimabi, he brought him to this life to satisfy three things to explain God, 
to make all the humanities know who is God by his doing. He knows in himself and he practiced what God ordered him to practice. Now God will have taken him. It's our belief that this man has gone and he will live in everlasting peace. All what he lives by I, God will take care of him. We are going to recite all these obligations for God to pity him to make death easy for him as he made life easy for him. We are going to follow ourselves when we are reciting this thing one after the other. The first one we are going to recite is Bismillah Rahman Rahim. We are going to recite it 19 times. Audhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim 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 We told our friend May Allah, my Almighty God Forgive him his shortcomings. The next one is Astaghfirullah Innahu kana ghaffara We are going to recite that one 11 times Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Astaghfirullah Innahu kana ghaffara Astaghfirullah Innahu kana ghaffara Astaghfirullah Innahu kana ghaffara Subhanallah, 
بما غفر لي ربي وجعلني من المكرمين بما غفر لي ربي وجعلني من المكرمين بما غفر لي ربي وجعلني من المكرمين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين طلب الفرد أسبغ الله ونعم الوكيل نعم المولى ونعم النسير أسبغنا الله ونعم الوكيل نعم المولى ونعم النصير حسبنا 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 الله ونعم الوكيل نعم المولى ونعم النصير سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين النفس والنفس لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم 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 سبحان ربك ربنا إزاز عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين We are going to recite or say الحمد لله then three times الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين 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 
الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الناس وان لا اله الا الله and we are going to do that one at three times بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم علم أنه لا إله إلا الله 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 محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم So we have some selected uh, Subhan Rabbi Karab Rai Zati Amaya Sifun Wa Salaamu Ala Al-Mursaleen Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Rahmatullahi We have some selected um, Zuna, we thank the Zuna Mishra of Nasfat The next item on the program is The station of selected chapters of the Holy Quran We have Salaatu Yasin, Salaatu Mok, Salaatu Waqiyah Salaatu Rahman, Salaatu Fatki this will be coordinated by Dr. Bashir Olan Waju, the State Missioner of Asal Society of Nigeria. Mr. Waju. Thank you. 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 Thank Seeking Allah's mercy and uh, for Allah to be merciful with him and uh, to make his affairs so easy that will enable him to have the cause to enter at the Jannah. Then we we'll also, uh, oh, yes. we we'll read Surah Al Mulk. Allah has his own kingdom and uh, 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 has prepared it for his righteous one, the Allah Rakim among the righteous ones. Then Surah al uh, you recite it for us, and then uh, our Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Habibullah Bukhari, who help us recite Surah al Rahman, and then my humble self recite Surah al Fajr. While all this 
chapters of the Quran have been recited. I want to appeal to all of us that will the reciting Surah al Ikhlas. That is, Kulu Allah, Kulu Allah, Kulu Allah. For those of us who are not able to read it, you can recite Astaghfirullah, 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 seeking forgiveness of Allah for him. So this is that. So we we'll recite Surah to the class as a and uh, those who can recite Surah uh, this the part Astaghfirullah, let's be chanting the two uh, as uh, as long as it takes us to finish all these chapters.
giving to Almighty Allah on his behalf that he expands and eliminates his grave, that he accompanies, he accompanies him with righteous companions, and that he makes his affairs easy for him, the questioning the Allah make them easy for him. Amen. May Allah have his unceasing mercy showered upon him. Amen. His bountiful blessings continue to be showered upon him. Amen. And may Allah finally make him uh, a member, the righteous Muslim, that will have that grace to enter the journey for the doubt. Amen. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma ya anan ya manan. Ya wasi al kufran. Ikfullahu wa rahmuhu wa afihi wa fa'anihu wa akrin nusullahu wa wasi madakhalahu wa akserahu bilimahi wa zalaitu wa infar wa nakihi mina dunundi wa khatara ya kamajuna kasaba hafya kuna danasi. Allahumma abdilahu daran khaira min darihim. وعالم خيرا من عليه وصرجا خيرا من صرجي ودخل الجنة وعيده من أداب القبر ومن أداب النار اللهم عامله بما حنت له ولا تعامله بما حنت له اللهم إنشئه عن الإزان إزانا وعن الإزاحة عفوا وكفرانا اللهم إن كان موسنا فصل في أصناتي وإن كان موسنا فصل في
عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم والضالين آمين 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 سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين
1441, Dua held at his Orioli Estate Villa in Bado. What does my heart is the basic thing I saw in the original program we had, and that was coming from Julius Caesar, which in fact designated the kind of life we all had to live, seeing that that a necessary end will come when it will come. It certainly must come. It's not a question of whether it will or whether it may. It must come. Question is where, when, and how. Today we're all living. We'll all take our exit one day. But where will you take it? In a plane crash? Would your body be found eventually? Would you be drowning during a ghastly rainfall? Would you be born beyond recognition? Would you have been born be beyond being seen? as the fellow human being anymore. Your Excellency, Ma, I'm craving your indulgence. What I'm doing here is subject to your approval. These are philosophies in praise of a man. Philosophies in his praise. This is the of his mind. When you go through it and you didn't ask me or allow me to distribute it, I will distribute it. But if you have objection to it, I'll hold it back. But I'm reading from that within the short time. These are commitment to life, existence, and eventual exit. I still have more, the small, if you need more, I still have it. Now, what I had done was proverbial philosophies, of great philosophers of life. And I'm glad today that there's an additional one that comes, that I just read the last straw. A leader takes people where they want to go or where they desire going. But a great leader, that's a qualified word. A leader is a leader. That's still relative. But a qualified word now gives the leader, the kind of leader we have in him, a great leader takes people where they don't necessarily want to go, but ought to be, to be able to have the essence of life. Now, with the kind indulgence of your excellency, man, I have about maybe a few quotes of philosophers here. And I will read. The number one problem that keeps people from winning today is lack of belief in themselves. Senator Abiola Jimobi believed in himself and the question of problem coming from him not winning is foreign. That was Arthur L. Williams. The next is Ralph Waldo Emerson. To be yourself in a world that is constantly wanting to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. If the man is accomplished, he refused to be digressed into areas where it is never his life. That was Ralph Waldo Emerson. Henry Frederick Elliot. So long as a person is capable of self renewal, he's a living being. I be like you be was a self renewed fellow and he attained the level he desired in life. I'm going back to the chart that had to do with what he left with. Now this is Getty. To be truly rich, a man must live by his values. Does he have values when he was living? If he lived with this values in him, then he, he was and still is truly rich. Well, the adornment of what I find here today, this is an A stated. This is a high depo of a man that did the best he could before he takes his exit. This is John Ruskin. John Ruskin uh, is an international fellow and he's a man who talks about what you call change. We all stagnate sometimes. Stagnation is never human. If you're a human being and you're stagnated, you are not living. The highest reward for a person's stall is not what he gets for it, but what he becomes by it. If Abiola had told going through the profile which I read in this second program. He's gone through life in various facets of life and he attained the level he did desire before he took his exit. So he was able to become what he did desire become by it. That was one. The next is, well, I wouldn't want to mention the name of this fellow who incidentally is part of us here. When commitment to human dignity is challenged, 
Respect for the law of morality is a crutch with the end game of eroticism of human nature. Abiola's morality was not challenged. Nor the dignity of humanity encroached. And today, the legacy which he left behind is there forever. Glory be to the Lord in heaven for him. And that is one coming from Muda Sirupata. Another one from Muda Sirupata said, Where on the speech, the courageous fellow dares. That was him, Abiola Jimobi. On the speech, but he dares. Basic, you all have a copy subject to her uh, approval. If I accept this approved that I should distribute, you all have it. James Madison, the fellow in whose memory the Madison Square Garden in New York was named. This is his philosophy. Knowledge will forever go and ignore. Albert was not ignorant. He was knowledgeable. He was upstairs. He was an egghead. The American will say the man with the brain and the level of excellence in his brain is an egghead. He was an egghead. Soren Kapka. Life can only be understood backward, but it has to be lived forward. Abiola, in retrospect, understood life. And for every time he steps forward, he lives it forward. He never looks back. And that was destruction. This is Albert Einstein. We all know Albert Einstein. A great philosopher of his time he was, and beyond that, a scientist of his time. And I'm sure many of his theories today still work, but I'm not heading for that. Albert Einstein said, the value of achievement lies in the achievement. Question is, did Abiola achieve? The value of achievement lies in the achievement. That's the question for all of us. Plato, the great teacher, let's listen to this. We can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark. But the greatest tragedy of life is when men of light are afraid of light. Abiola Ajinogo is not afraid of light. He's not the kind that shakes his face. In, in dignity of life, he raises his head. Every picture you find here raises his head from right into the premises. Just see the pictures. He never drooped his head because he's the man who's never afraid of light. This is Helen Keller. The worst thing than being blind is to have sight without vision and wisdom. Well, the word wisdom is my emphasis. The worst thing than being blind into Burujuki or Lujulo. Abiola had vision, he was visionary in his life. And that goes to show the level of success in the man. This is Emily Dickinson, the one I used last time. We never know how high we are till we are called to rise. If we are true to our star, our stature touch the sky. Well, pity the pictorial that was uh, displayed the last time is not here. You could see. The level of his own posture on that day or in that photograph, they touched the sky. And that's another one there. He's waving to all of us, I'm gone. Take care of yourself. I've taken care of myself. This is Ralph Waldo Emerson. The grandest homage, the grandest homage, listen to this, we can pay to truth is to use it. That is say, I say yes. Adiemi Ajimo be said, no matter what. Whether you like it or not, he will say his word. And that, that was him. This is Bachelor Rosa. The good life is that inspired by love and guided by knowledge. Good life. I've read Mama's or Her Excellency's uh, profile here. The touch of love is given to her, to the children, to the family. And that's the basic thing we all need in our life. Many of us here desire our family. We're too much immersed in things outside. Forgetting the things that gives you the essence of life. That is your home. Charity begins at home. The man is a man of family. Read the profile of Mama or Her Excellency. You'll see the touch of love. And that's what um, that aspect of John Ruskin is saying. Now, you listen to this. I'll just, the last one. This is Max Locado. You aren't an accident. You aren't mass produced. You weren't an assembly line product. You are deliberately planned. Specifically gifted and lovingly positioned on the earth by the master craftsman. You weren't an accident. I didn't come by accident. He didn't come by accident. He wasn't a mass produced fellow. He was producing distinction with a refined extract of creation. 
and this attests to his life, which shows that he was specifically gifted and lovingly planted on earth by the master craftsman. And who is the master craftsman? Your creator, his creator. And this is my comment. This this explains it all. Isiak Abiola Adiemi Ajimobi is fashioned from the refined extract of creation by the supreme craftsman, God, to Allah be the glory. The last row. Life is not accidental. Yes, it is never accidental. If life is accidental, maybe Abiola Ajimobi will have left ages back. But he was allowed to make a mark on the sand of time before he left. Rather, as a source, and what is that source? A power greater than the human imagination and comprehension. Abiola's source being Allah, the Supreme, Allah Akbar. And that was the last one. Now, coming back to the basic submission which I have today within the short time, uh, I'm sure my timekeeper will probably pardon me today. The last time I had only three minutes to submit, I'm sure he'll give me additional two minutes today to make my submission five minutes. I shall bore you. I wouldn't bore you because ideally my submission is basic. What I had read was more or less an intellectual, intellectual submission. And I'm sure if Her Excellency did ask me or authorize that I should just about, I let it go, go around. Ma, have you any objection, Ma? You don't have. God bless you for life. I'll give this to my friend. Uh, are you there? Okay, you let you it go around. There's more than enough there. You see all the philosophy that has a semblance and that indeed did describe the man sitting to Isiak, Abiola, Adiemi. I think there's a Koji as well. Am I right? Mm. Forgive me if I quote him in Babaji. Well, the concept of my submission is three. One to the children, one to mama, and the others to all of us that are here. Many of us take life for granted. The Lord in heaven created heaven and earth. And when he created it, he said, وَمَا حَلَكْنَ السَّمَاعَ وَالْعَدَّ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا لَائِبِينَ The heaven is not created on point of flow, nor even the earth, nor the in-between. You are here basically for a purpose. The day you are able to define that creation of feature in you and begin to mock around with it, life will have no respect for you. Life is a destroyer. It is also a beautifier. It destroys the essence of your life. If you fluke around with it, or you fluke around with it, but it gives you the beauty, be the beauty of benefit, or could I say the beauty of existence, if you are able to commit yourself to what the life is. He committed himself to the life that the Lord gave to him from the refined extract of creation. And at the end of the day, today is the day of glory. Mama was so sobbing. Your husband is gone. May the Lord look after him in his grave. May the legacies he lived and died for continue to be with you. Man. What I did was two chapters within the short term. Forgive me, my friend, if I keep referring to the short term. Two chapters. One is chapter 9, verse 100, where the concept of the nine people of faith if seen into Abiola is within this nine concept, then the Lord is there with him. May the Lord be with him in his grave. We have that in Surah al Tawbah, chapter 9, verse 100. Don't let me go to the Quranic quote. Let me just give you the concept in English to save time within the short time. Now, this is it. It says, Those that turn to Allah in repentance, Asai Hune. Al Amirun Al Abidun. Those that serve him. Those that serve him with correct faith in their life. And those that constantly guard against evil in their life. Those that wander in devotion to his cause. Those that bow in adoration to him. Those that prostrate before him in praise. Those that enjoy good deeds. Those that forbid evil, and finally, those that observe the limit set by Allah. Many of us don't observe limit. We transgress, and your transgression is an iniquity in your life. It passed. 
Yes, many of us here who could evade the aspect of iniquity finally, it won't fall on you. Because the record of Allah, even that minutest thing we should do as an evil is recorded. And the major one should do is also recorded. People take life for granted. Where, how, and when death will catch up with you, you don't know. You could head up and never come back. You could be in your sleep and snoring and it takes you. That's why your vow will say, The mere fact that you're living today, the Lord give me the grace to leave. Have you ever thought that one day that death will come, just like he came to see Tabiola, when he least expected coming? It would come. Suppose he's died in a plane crash. Could we have found his corpse? A blast was uh, in level about two days or three days ago. May God forbid it happening again. Many of those that were caught up in that inferno of the blast never believed the word. But today we're able to see his cups. He had the burial, a final place of rest for him. The clerics were able to pray for him. These are things we should guard against and ensure that within this nine concept, are you one of them? The Allah say, Give the glad tidings to the believers that they will have from their Lord a benefit overflowing. May an overflowing benefit be with him in his grave. May it be there for life. That's for him. And added to that is chapter 40, verse 3, Surah al Ghafir. I've chosen to bring him first before I bring my mass own and of course the children. Surah al Ghafir is chapter 40. And the verse that I'm reading there is just verse 3. Where Allah says, Gafir is Zamb, Waqab al Tawb, Shadid al Iqab, Zi Tawlila ilaha illa huwa, ilaha al Masir. Gafir is Zamb. Allah says, Is the Lord who forgiveth sin? Yes, your iniquity can only be forgiven by your God in heaven. Accepted repentance. When you repent with that torch of what I will refer to as mischief on earth, your God is there to at least grant you repentance only if you go with a sincere desire to repent. And hear this, your God is severe in punishment. Yeah, Allah is severe in punishment. If you refuse to digress or rather change your attitude, what you do in life is as if you're here as a flu. Today, my cell phone is there which I've switched off. There's no way my cell phone will be called and it goes to someone else. It goes to show the strength that we all have that attaches to us, to our God in heaven. Your God is severe in punishment and is bountiful. Yes. Yes. That's what we pray for Sinatra Abiyam al Jimadi. He says, do, so do good and are righteous and are pious. The righteousness and piety, and of course, when you talk of piety and righteousness, they are cognate. They go soon. If you're a man of piety, then you, you're righteous enough. The righteous gives you the benefit and overflowing one that comes from your God in heaven. And he says, I prefer for them a paradise whose width would be the width of the heaven and earth. You may be wondering, how could it have happened? Today, science tells us that the whole concept of the earth is consumed by 75% by what you call ocean. 15% is by all the aspects of all the mountains you have. 5% by the jungles. The whole concept of life we're living on today is just 5% on land. And there'll be no more water. There'll be no more ocean. The Atlantic Ocean, the Arctic, the Red Sea and so on will no longer be there. There'll be no hills anymore. There'll be no jungle. So, when you not to add the at the Samai, yes, it will come. A matter of the abode in heaven whose width will just be the size of the heaven and earth. May he be one of those that will be benefiting from it. And there is no God but he. To him is the final goal. His time is now. The final goal for him came. And he had to leave. 
May Allah look after him in his grave. Now this is for the children. This is chapter 5, verse 2. And I'm asking that you listen to this very carefully. Mama needs your suko. She needs your attention. She desires you to be by her side. Now, when she sleeps on the bed, the vacuum, based on what she told us in her profile here, the, the vacuum, and the only way she could have that vacuum filled is the children kneeling around her, just like I've seen you do. God bless you all. This is the last one here. Now, look, if anyone rejects faith, you are not the kind who will reject faith. Allah says, the work he does is fruitless, and in the hereafter will be in the ranks of those who are not benefited. Now, in chapter 5, verse 2, that is not for you. But Allah says, what you do is ensure that at the end of the day, you be in harmony. Help ye one another. This is for the children. In righteousness and piety. Help one another. Keep your hands to one another. Form a circle for mama. Put her in the midst of your form. Keep her happy. Let the emotional aspect in her be erased and let it be totally diminished. And ensure that the aspect of the vacuum created by the exit of Senator Abela no longer comes into her life. Had to believe had to erase but we pray to the God to give her the succor to be able to see that she's able to live with all this in, in her life and finally be ye not one another in sin and rancor there should be no rancor between yourself there should be no touch of agreement yes the benefit of rancor is nothing else but chaos and disaster for Allah fear Allah and Allah strict in punishment that is the final one. Then I'll give you this to see that the Lord has been so gracious to see the Tribula during his, during his lifetime. What life he lived, how long he lived. I did the statistics, and this will be the last one. Within the short time, my friend gave to me. The statistics of his 70 years and art is this. At 70, Senator Abela was able to live for 840 months. Some child never lived for just a month. But he was able to use the last 840 months in that 70 years. Glory be to the Lord in heaven for him. The weeks he used on earth was past 3,640 weeks. A child never even used a week. He came in and he took his exit. The senior to used 3,640 weeks on earth. Glory be to the Lord in heaven. The days Senator Abela used on earth based on the 70 years age is 25,550 days. Glory be to the Lord in heaven. And within this period, he's accomplished. The hours he used on earth is 613,200 hours. A child or many child with in this base of statistics, which we could not have in this nation. You were able to punch the Google and see many children that were born the day he was born and many that has left, will glorify the Lord that Lord gave him life to be able to spend 613 hours, 200. The minutes he used in life is 36 million, 792,000. Even some child never used the minute. And that is all. But Senator Abema used 36.7 million on earth. Glory be to the Lord in heaven. The seconds he used on earth is 2 billion.
inuomi orioke no adegun gbogbo to lo me pata ohun lo hun moju to tabaraka alladhi bi yadihi almulku ma sha allah wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir bi yadihi almulku gbogbo
ati dogbe mo wa nlo won o mu nkan kan lo e ma pa iro kan kan mo mi bi baba ku o laye won o mu nkan kan lo gbogbo te ba ri pe o mo je temi ji po mo ji ku o le fun yen ma lo eru ojo kan lo ma ba mi ha eru ojo yen lo ye ku pe da o eru ojo yen lo ye ku pe da ojo te ru sun kale poloru tawon ma re ataya re agoko re atawon olulufe ore re ti won o si ma wo e loka ati dodo ra ti le sun ma bi to wa yo soro eru ojo yen lo ye ko be da o eru ojo yen lo ye ko be da e je ke wa wo e je e je ka wo ibi abani aye de leni aye o da ma yo ma baje lo bi se baje ina eh ke ma asa do e wa ko ran je a ko ta do ma gbe je a olohun o tun le aye se mi bo ni o se tun se hmm eye yan te wa nbe e gba ko tun se ni eyin te wa nbe e gba ko olohun le tun se ni e gba ko olohun le tun se won gbe program kan wa le ori radio ni ijeta ye mi so nle Lori Flash, me o mara kwenye nani? O agbe a wakawa tianse joba kwenye ajiwa bi. No me don. Ah, wala hitala, wala ino me doga. Jima bi, udi eja pa oroti. On on repeat your lore ni gbogbo gba to ba nsoro lo yo tun repeat e pe emi o nse politician o emi o nso lo se ilu o nti mo ri ti mo ri fun ara mi le yi ki se pe won nso ni ta fun mi o o wa so oro yen lori oro won fe yawo o yawo o wa nya awo o je gbesi laji ma bi o je gbesi ajime bi o je gbesi o mo ngo je ba pe ni gbesi ajime bi je ah ko ye se gbesi e se gbe yi de ba gbo yi o ni ke se gbesi o wa si alaye yen in fact inu me do kan no me do o wa je ki ma pe o ma le je na ajime bi nto ba le vi le ru e ru le yo bai e wo yo oyo oyo buruku yi Oyoya, Oyosi.
إنها هذه التذكرة. فمن شاء التخزين يبيل سبحان ربك. أي يوم أجمع بي؟ أي يوم إسحاق؟ أما من إدريس؟ أتيوبا وين يقولنا؟ أمراني سراني لكم. واعتسموا بأبل الله جليل ولا تفرقوا. Ukuyayifekopaiwo,ayifekotolemapaiwo,retobaiyopa,yoleiyo. But mbati oma wati di tami bi wani abiola wano beti lati. Ah, hey, ulo ngo debe, ulo ngo debe. But you only pay your ticket in bino so mule a omu o or omu loju tu. Aji me bi wambo your so kalle your bese lele oma kone lokori usi so mupe your dafu. Oma na mbembo makadi sio o dafu. Walai ya paradafu Mba usi tiwabete la tiki Ubuntu fei gela yeto fei Ubuntu ulai uti toroe La tiki banani ti mgi oni Le ti wakwe age of 70 Uti to We break the record Age of 70 Ni mofi sonjo oni Ita wasi biba imba tansi Ti joke joke Oni kalukwe ema asadwa Ema si ma sonte mfe folon I may be this or age of seventy. Oh, she saw several times that money big bad number one dating that money bad way day to be. But that one bad one say you put no one age of seventy two in your buffet cabo. A bona la 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 seventy. Oh, but our in your dance about the seventy. And I'm also tired of one with Baba to be on. Oku su meji ti oku 70 years Loku o la yi So onku o re Sisi tu O ti wan so ron tare Pe o un le ni a koko to Ma kloki 70 O na o adama A be wa o O bo wata jen O lu tele Se ne to Isa a Abiola Ajima B. Tasi Teodulu Fe. Eje Kadro Dede. Eje Kadro Dede. Turibwe Nkakan Kanti Sele Nisi. Oji Posar Ki Hama. Awan Pada Alo Oba. Bo Ule Se Nye Misi. Ke Le Se Nbe Angu Simbe. Se Se Re. Ari Rawana Li Ki Hama. Olo Ma Si Walo Ma Na. Eh, awak tahu baju mana ni kalau ni? Ah, ni ramu mana ni jora? Ah, ni ramu mana? Awak mali jangan ada di rawa. So, uri lewa, orang musik dia kalle, orang ni dia orang Muhammad. Ubu awak tu dulu tili, orang masa bawa dulu tini. Ubu yang dia dulu talaja, orang kau dulu tini. Enyi oma ah, orang dia kau mahu fikir tuin kau, mahu fano tuin kau, mahu fikir si tuin kau. Enyi ekma, enyi aburu. Fumu ala haji wa isa haka hajima bi e Olomu wala saji wa
الخميس العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم العيلة في قريش العيلة بهم ورحلة الستاء والصيف فليعبدوا رب هذا البيت الذي يتامه من جوء وآمنه من الله أبام يسي سبيشا فريا of Kano State Anna Waniyaige Anna Abi Ila Yupi Lana Inlo Inlo Waniyaige Inlo Wafada Inlo No Laje Kano So Olo Muni Ki Joba Ati Wana Koma Da Ne Kano Joba Wada Joba Wada So Ne Baba Yi Abelo Eba Mi Se Sura Tu Do Ha Pelo Alam Masera Governor,
where and how. And lucky for us, our father went in a peaceful manner. Our late father, Senator Abiola Jimon, impactful life. He lived in every day in service of others. As a father, as a leader, he did his best to lead us, to show us the way to where he thought was best or where we ought to be. As a father, he showered us with love and discipline and set the bar, set the bar high. As a husband, Mommy's Biola was well, perfection. perfection. May the Almighty Allah expand his grave and give him eternal peace. Allah is always merciful towards people who believe in him. May the Almighty Allah give us the fortitude to bear this loss. Rahman Rahim will place comfort and light on his grave. Our father, our daddy, you came, you saw, and you conquered. You left the family strong and full of love and united. And we will continue to aspire to achieve some of the standards that you set up once. Inshallah, we will continue to make you proud. And on behalf of my family, I'd like to thank you all. And I wish you a safe journey home. And may we share the fatia. اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من البرس والجنان والجذام ومن سيء العسقام بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنا وفي الآخرة حسنة وكنا عذاب النار وأدخلنا الجنة برحمتك مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا كفار يا رب العالمين اللهم أرزقنا بكلمة لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين صلوا على النبي المختار